Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Part 24. Well, now you guys know. I have unlimited time. Yay! Anyway, so we are done here. Just beat the Bill Cup. And we are now the top seed. Woohoo! Anyway, I will be utilizing this. This is pretty much two parts in one right here. That amounted to 25 minutes. Anyway, here's the warp drive in action. And we get to see a bit of a fail. I thought I'd go shopping. Those of you who have good memory know why this is a fail. As we will see here. I go into the item shop. I want to buy a weapon for Goofy, is what I'm after, but... I'm here to shop! With two money! <laughs> Yeah, not, not very smart on my end. Uh, I'll showcase what that blue warp hole is later. I forget. Anyway, that's warp drive in action, by the way. Which makes building ships a mute point, really, because... Then you would just go to the new world and that's it. You can go there whenever you want after that. And you get it kind of early too, which... I mean, sure, it would be annoying being flying back and forth all the time. But, eh, I don't know. I guess they can just thought that making the gummy ships would be a more for fun activity rather than an actually required activity. Anyway. Anyway, so here's our warp hole that we need to go in. Looks suspicious. Maybe it leads to another world. That is your hint to go in it. We go in it. Hello. We get a lot of enemy ships. There's nearly always something to kill on this route. And we got quite a few blueprints already that we that you really don't get the opportunity to see what the heck they were. Not that you would really want these guys anyway, because they're made kind of weird and they're really small. Music changes! bunch of orange asteroids and even now with two lasers these things are still hard as hell to destroy a float gummy anyway we have arrived at Agrabah man doing 25 minutes of post commentary just straight through is gonna be kind of eh, a challenge on my throat 20, uh, 20, 21 minutes now, but that's still quite a bit. But I can tell you that the amount of parts that this Let's Play would have taken has now significantly shortened, shortened because of the new time limit. And the keyhole? The Heartless are searching for it now. I'm certain we'll find it soon enough. Man, they could be married. So that just leaves... <laughs> They both have a staff. They both have, like, long capes. Jafar! I've looked everywhere for Jasmine! She disappeared like magic! <laughs> the girl is more trouble than she's worth. They're both cunning. You said you had things under control. Agrabah is full of holes for rats to hide in. <laughs> That's true. But why worry about Princess Jasmine? 
With her or without her. Oh, dang it. Surely uh. this will be ours when we find the keyhole. We need all seven princesses of heart to open the final door. Any fewer is useless. Well, if the princess is that important, we'll find her. Find Jasmine and bring her to me at once. Oh boy. Don't steep yourself in darkness too long. The heartless consume the careless. I'm sure they do. <laughs> Your concern is touching, but hardly necessary. I misunderstood that line when I first heard it. Because that is a really well-versed vo well line, as far as vocabulary, and if you're like, eight years old watching that, it's like, what? Anyway. Ow! Ow! And these guys are normal? These guys hurt! Holy shit! You should have heard me when I was actually playing. I was like, oh my gosh. I was panicking, like, really bad, because... Golly, there's this many guys already, and they hurt that bad. This is proud mode for you. You're in for a world of hurt every time you enter a new world, generally. But the ramp up in difficulty in this world is actually quite significant. Oh, this is the place that this is a money grinder. If you need money, something fierce, come here. There's plenty of spaces to get money. Spaces? Places. A mega ether. You're gonna get a lot of stuff here. Because this place is, after all, a place of concealing treasures. Anyway, I stocked myself. And I suddenly have five slots, something I didn't know. But uh, the power of the guardian does have this, you have extra items. Which is something I'd rather replace with having more magic, to be honest. Wouldn't that be cool if there's an ability you got later and it would be like, you can replace an item slot with a magic slot later? That'd be cool. So then you can have more magic. Or the other way around, if you really want to have more items, which I don't know why. But... Anyway, there's a chest here, so we're gonna pick this up, throw it, get the money. Green Trinity here, we gotta remember that one. Uh, after this world, I am gonna go around the other worlds and get the get the Trinities, because, uh, there's slight spoilers, but you learn the Green Trinity after this world. So you can get quite a number of Trinities now. And Green Trinities is what we're mainly going to be finding as we explore the worlds once more. I'll skip the enemies, I won't necessarily grind, but if there's like a small amount of enemies, ooh. See, I equipped Second Chance here, and what... Golly, did I want that after I, what I saw. Um, Second Chance leaves you with 1 HP. I know I already explained this, but... Anyway, I just did all that, so I just... I'm going back to save again. I really should have cut this out, but... Eh. Now I actually don't have to cut out anything, now that I have unlimited time, you know? It's great. It's kind of weird how they suddenly allow you to have unlimited time. Ah, well. So we go over here. Uh, trust me, there's a lot to absorb here. And we're going to have to come back here once we gain abilities left and right. Only, that's only two of them. That's not too bad. Right? There's Goofy Tornado for you. Pretty damaging. Pot Spiders! These guys release only money, and they only require two experience. But they're tougher than they look, trust me. Lucid Shard. Right over there. So let's kill these guys. No, I didn't want to go in there. Man, I completely disregarded her the first time, didn't I? Anyway, we spot her. Jasmine. Father of Sultan Agrabah. 
makes it makes her a princess. Uh, contrary to the story, uh, Agrabah is already under the control of Jafar, which that didn't come till near the end of the story. So this is actually one of the first. This is the first world you come to where this where the showing here is significantly different from the actual movie. In the end, it's all the same, but this is significantly different Aladdin. from Aladdin. Where might I find this street rat? Sorry that I talked during his Aladdin question mark. Jasmine, allow me to find you more suitable company, my dear princess. It was out of nowhere, after all. These little rats won't do you see. And he speaks too slow. Jasmine, run! Ah, the boy who holds the key. Yeah, he speaks way too slow, jeez. That does make him, uh, ominous. Did I use that right? They're freezing to death. Ow. Yeah, you can see there, I'm playing it safe. Because <laughs> you saw how much health these guys took. It's a lot. Anyway, he has him trapped in that box. And you don't really have to go up here yet. But there is a chest up here if you want it. Shadows will appear. Hey, you can't do anything while you're hanging off a ledge. Jeez, I'm getting a lot of lucid shards. You do need a number of those, but you don't really need that many, usually. Remember these guys that we failed to take out because Sora stupidly went to the alley when I told him not to? Anyway, they're dead. And one of them actually dropped something and I didn't pick it up. If you heard that dropping of a chest, which I never got around to picking up. Bad face. Can you see it from here? I can't. Yep, you can. Barely. Now we never will know what that was. The only thing I fear is that it usually took me around 70 minutes to upload 15 minutes. Actually, that's way off. Uh, almost 100. So I'm thinking, with these, this is going to take me way too long to upload these. 200 minutes, man. And the quality's not even that great. Which is another shame. Sheesh. And, you know, one time I tried to upload a gigabyte, and it comes up with like 900 minutes. That's how slow my computer is. Anyway, we just rescued a carpet and it flew out to the desert. If you had not found out Jasmine yet, uh, Donald will say, but let's explore the city more rather than let's follow it, Sora. But since I found Jasmine already, uh, we will go to the desert. Uh, actually, we are at we are at the start of what would be episode twenty five right now. Anyway, there's a chest down there, and I want to go get it. Our way is blocked though, so we can't go that way just yet. We get another mega ether, and you noticed we got a mega elixir from Aladdin's house when I was there. He was also keeping Dalmatians. That guy had some treasures. Let me tell you. <laughs> fail. We I mean, need to go back up there because I want the money. Ow! There goes Goofy. Goofy has a lot of health, jeez. Also, with the power of the Guardian, you get more health, but not... Goofy still has you beat. See, I thought I was going to run into Heartless there, but I forgot that I had already taken care of him. Here's the carpet. That's his, that's his name, actually. It's Carpet. <laughs> really creative, huh? Anyway, so we save... 
a little unnecessary, really. My laptop keeps trying to go to sleep on me. I hate having to constantly move my mouse in order to avoid that. Why did I pause? That was a little weird. I don't know. Well, that guy's stuck. And the quality for that was absolutely terrible. What annoys me is that I'm already looking at bad enough quality, and then when I convert, it'll just go even lower. I know the quality, all in all, is not that bad, but it's enough to discourage me. Jeez, they're getting beat up. Me too, actually. Thank you, Goofy. I really should be conserving the magic for myself. Because you've seen what these guys can do, jeez. Another drop that I fail to get, but I actually do get it here in a little bit. <sighs> anyway, you see those guys that are just flipping through. Blaze Gym. It would have been nice to get that other Blaze Gym if that's what it was. I didn't see. It could have been an item. Nice, Goofy. Anyway, so let's let's help him out. Gorge, not again. Dang it! What that? Genie, get rid of these guys. Hello. Wish number one to come right up. Come on, we could have taken two of those. It wouldn't have hurt. Yeah. Would have been nice if it was like five. Then it would be actually, you know. <laughs> Thanks, Sora. Worth it. Aladdin, what are you doing out here? Same old stuff. Hunting legendary treasure. Just paid a visit to the Cave of Wonders. That's what you ditched Jasmine for? I found that magic carpet. And this lamp. Legend has it that whoever holds the lamp. Please, kid, leave the intros to a professional. The one and only Genie of the Lamp. Rub it up, dub the lamp, and have your dearest wishes granted. This winner is Aladdin. Congratulations. Wow. I'm in rush. Patience, my fine feathered friend. Any three wishes. Oh, one wish, a two wish, a three wish. Then I make like a banana and split. Our lucky winner made his first wish. And let me tell you what a doozy that wish was. <laughs> so he has two left. So, Master, what will you have for wish number two? Not a waste like your first one. How about making me a fabulously wealthy prince? Whoa! Money, royalty, fame! Why didn't I think of that? Okay, you asked for it. A hundred servants and a hundred camels loaded with gold. Just say the word and I'll deliver it in 30 minutes or less or your meal free. Hey, I'll even throw in a cappuccino. <laughs> no thanks. Okay. <laughs> I think I'll put that on hold until we reach Agrabah. Oh, why a prince? You see, there's this girl in Agrabah named Jasmine. But she's a princess. And I'm... Ah, oh, she could never fall for a guy like me. Oh, princess. Jasmine? Oh, that's right. She's in trouble, Aladdin. What? Well, come on, let's get going. That does point out a huge story significant difference. Aladdin freaking ditched Jasmine to go treasure hunting. Are you freaking serious? That's what I got out of it. I don't know what you did, but seriously, ugh. Anyway, more cutscene. Ah, fresh air, the great outdoors. I guess you don't get out much, huh? Comes with a job. A nominal cosmic powers, itty bitty living space. It's always three wishes, then back to my portable prison. I'm lucky to see the light of day every century or two. Who assigned you to that job? Say, Genie, what if I use my last wish to? Free you from the lamp. What do you think? 
You do that? Genie, it's a promise. After we help Jasmine. This is a rushed, rushed storyline, trust me. <laughs> really, really rushed. You're pretty much going through the entire story what would take an hour into just five minutes. I'm not exactly sure what caused him to launch back like that, but... Anyway, these are a different version from the large bodies. I can't remember their exact name, but they're freaking annoying. Shaboom. That does a lot of damage, so... Anyway, Aladdin is actually quite strong. Really, Goofy, was there really a point while I was sitting there kicking its ass? What's Aladdin after? Oh, whatever it is, he got it. That's a pretty epic looking sword, though. Anyway, I show off his abilities here. Ah, uh, he fights very similar to Goofy. And he's basically an improvement of Goofy, and you'll notice... That, you know, he's a freaking treasure magnet, and he has abilities for that, but you can't have him because he's busy having that with other stuff. Anyway, our path, our main path is barbed, so we have to go through the side. Which kind of sucks. But eh. New Heartless for this area. Well, actually, yeah, it is completely new. Ow. The voice actors did a good job for this game. I'll admit there's some sour voice acting here and there, but overall, the voice acting in this game is pretty damn good. Get the... Get... No. No. What, what are you doing? Go back and get... That fell right in front of you. Why am I just completely bypassing it? It's right there. Ugh. Please tell me I fall down and get it. No, go... No! Ugh. I swear... In synthesis later, if I am short of... Blaze gem... I'm going to kill something. Turn around and get it? Ugh. Damn it. Wow. Uh... Alright. Embarrassment 101. Kill these guys. The doors have been sealed too. Jeez. Someone went to work. And I miss. Kinda. Take care of the shadow. Which, by the way, you'll notice that the ta shadow's ramped up in experience. They have now give two instead of just one. That happens with Heartless that you see in different worlds, generally. Right shard, cool. Uh. Like, you'll gain experience off of them. If you block those, the fireball will go straight back to them and launch them. Ouch. Whew. I wish I had counterattack. You'll see what it is soon. Damn it, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to kill that guy. These guys are worth fighting, though, these big guys. Because, you know, they're freaking... Give 20 experience. It's pretty good. He's aiming after a Lavin, which I didn't see that. Sonic Blade at its finest. And we got a high potion out of it. I don't know where he come, came from, but we took care of him. Ow! That's cool. They're able to magically revive their sword after they just threw it. Whoa! 
Get him! There we go. This is gonna take a lot of editing, I swear. But hey, at least I'm getting this out of the way. Plus, this is more for you to watch, I guess, if you really want to be watching my stuff this long. I'm gonna keep it between uh, 20 and 30 minutes. Generally, you'll very rarely see something 30 minutes long, I'll be honest right now. It depends on st uh, stopping places, such things like that. You actually have to go to Aladdin's house to see the scene. And apparently, Genie has heard of a keyhole. Really, where? 200 years. If your memory's that good, buddy. Yep, that's our main plot. Main plot? Main goal. Anyway, so that brings us to the end of this episode, guys. I sure hope you enjoyed it. Unlimited time. Woohoo! See you next time, guys.